Hey, good morning, guys. Okay. So, we're going to see if this all works today. Super interesting day yesterday on Facebook and Instagram. It was uh, quiet here. So, without anybody being able to do um, lives or post comments in um, groups, um, I was super productive yesterday instead. So, I designed my next card kit yesterday. So, that'll be coming. So, I might suggest that maybe during the BOGO sale, you might want to grab, say, the Mixins paper pack and uh, coordinating card stock. I'm just, I just made myself a cup of coffee because <coughs> I seem to be uh, off the last few days. So, I'm going to make what I'm hoping is going to be a cute card. I thought we would test the system and see if everything is back to normal. So I just wanted to do a quick card and I think it's been a long time since I've made a shaker card. So I thought that is what I would try to do today. So I have grabbed out because it's March and it's St. Patrick's Day on, I think it's Sunday. I pulled out the Lucky Friendship uh, card making workshop earlier this week. Um, cause I wanted to use the stamp set on a, um, mini album scrapbooking page. Um, and if all goes well today, maybe we'll try and do that video tomorrow. So this was the most St. Patrick's Day theme, um, stamp set that I think we have. But I'm going to turn it into a card with like a slight St. Patrick's Day theme. So I thought in order to, um, I thought I'd just show you something fun. So this is the um, Make It From The Heart Volume 4, and it is all um, card patterns. So I thought this morning I would just quickly grab a pattern and then make a card from it. So I picked pattern number 12 because uh, I kind of liked the landscape um, view of it. So that is what the card that we're going to make today is based off of. And I will add the dimensions that I ended up using uh, in one of the comments below. So just so you know, that's where I started with. And then I thought, okay, because it's St. Patrick's Day, maybe we'll go with a green and yellow theme. So I pulled out um, two colors of green. So I have um, clover and I have willow. And then I grabbed lemon as the accent color. And I'm going to use this um, four leaf clover that I cut on my Cricut. And I think I cut it at about two and a half inches, I think. I wanted it to fit inside the shaker. Yeah, so it's two and a half inches. And I think if I'm remembering correctly, it's from the flower market cartridge but I could double check on that um, and then so I've cut out my pieces and we're going to do some we'll assemble it and we'll do some embossing so let's get started so the first thing is I just grabbed a white card base and I have a folder in half and I just want it to sit a little flatter so I'm just gonna use my bone folder on it there we go and now I've cut a piece of the clover 
and this is the lighter side of the clover. And I've cut it to the same dimensions as the card base. I want the whole thing covered. So it's uh, just a standard size card. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And so I'm just going to add whole front like so. And then I think I'm going to now add the willow piece, and this is also the lighter side of the willow. And it is three and a quarter by four and a half. So I'm just going to center that one. Okay, and now I have a piece of lemon. And we're going to use the um, playful scallops embossing folder. And I'm just going to show you how to use that. It's been a while since we've had embossing folders, so I thought I would pull out my cuddle bag and actually emboss this piece for you. So when you are, so this is the um, Playful Scallops embossing folder. And it's the only one we have, I think, right now. There's a few other ones in like the clearance section, but this one was in this idea book. So when you're embossing the paper, when you put the paper in, the awesome thing about ours is it can be a longer piece and you can feed it through the top. So if you wanted to do like a strip down a whole scrapbooking page, you've got enough room to be able to feed it through. You just have to make sure that your piece of paper is smaller than the slit on the top. And whichever, um, like whether you want the darker or the lighter side embossed, you put that side up with the close to my heart facing you. So if I want it on the lighter side, let's say, I'll just put it in my folder and you can line it up however you want it lined up. I kind of try and pick something so that I know that I'm going to have it to get it straight. And then for a cuddle bug, it's your A plate and then your B plate and then your folder and then your B plate. And I'm not sure if this is going to be shake my camera too much, but then you literally just, I'm trying to hold everything steady so it doesn't. Good morning, Maria. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Sometimes, depending on how it sits on my table, it is crazy how much it shakes the camera. And then you can see the raised side is right there so it creates super great dimension so just remember whichever side faces the close to my heart logo that's going to be the pushed up side or the textured side so that is what I did here I see my piece of paper is a quarter of an inch too long so I'm just going to cut that off but this one is Two and a half by four and a quarter. So I'll just trim off the quarter inch. And there we go. Okay, 
So I think I'm just going to stop for a second and we're going to kind of lay these pieces out for I, I'm going to stick them down and we'll do our stamping now. So I grabbed the thin cut, the shaker window and confetti. And so I've cut the background. So it's got all the parts to make the shaker card. So I've cut the background circle again out of the clover. And this time I'm going to use the dark side like so. So I can get enough. See, that's why I wanted to kind of lay it down so I see how everything comes together. And then I've cut the ring for the top of the shaker card from the willow from the dark side too, because I've got the light side down here. And here is my clover. And then I'm going to use the sentiment that says, Lucky, you're my friend. And I'm going to stamp it right here. So I think we're going to do that just right now. So I just want to grab a pencil. So that I don't stamp too far over. So we're going to do our stamping right now. And I've just grabbed my little Fiskars mat that fits better onto the camera space. And so I think I want to put ribbon around this. So I'm going to stamp it closer to the top, I think. So I have. Block. And I'm going to stamp the lucky first. Yes, it was super funny yesterday. It was so quiet. I could not figure out what was going on there for a while with Facebook and Instagram. Apparently, it wasn't everybody at certain points, but I was completely locked out for most of the day. So there was no. But at least I put my time to good use and created a new carpet. So I'm just inking it up. I'm going to use our intense black ink just because I'm not sure if I might want to color it later or not. But so there's Lucky. And you're my friend. This, I think, was my favorite card kit in the Seasonal Expressions um, idea book. I am very partial to the rainbow piece of paper. So, from the I Heart Us paper pack. So, I hope you guys are all grabbing it while it's on sale. Because... What a great time to stock up. Okay, let's just see if this eraser is actually any good or if I'm gonna. Okay, not bad. Okay, so I also was thinking I might stamp the clover, but I don't know. So let's put this part together. Okay, so now I've grabbed oh, I have a, the skinny ribbon and I'm going to put it here. And so I'm just going to Cut it a little bit longer than the piece that I want. And then I'm going to tie this piece of it. I just find it easier to do it this way, but you do not have to.
put it. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I've just got some washi tape sitting here and I'm just gonna tape it onto the back. Oops. Of the white piece of cardstock. So, so we kind of got another blast of winter last night. I was super surprised. It was actually supposed to miss us and go everywhere around us. But we did get a little bit of snow and then there was blowing snow this morning. So anybody outside the city, I think, got quite a bit more than us. They said that they were closing schools and stuff outside the city. But luckily everybody in my house went to work and school today because I have not had a lot of quiet time in the last few weeks. But there we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave that like that and then I'll move it around once we put the shaker pieces down. So now I'm going to tear the embossed piece. And this is so simple. There's like, it's all just cardstock, but with the two-tone cardstock and then adding a textured piece in there, you totally get, uh, it looks like lots of layers or different papers or whatever. Sorry, I had to take a sip of my coffee. I was going to lose my voice. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this one down. And then I'll just move this around after I have my shaker down. So, I kind of want it. Oh, this is gonna be super cute. Okay, so now let's build my shaker piece. So because I'm gonna glue the clover in the background here, I'm going to add my ring so that I know where to add my clover, if that makes sense. So I'm just taking my anti-static pouch and running it around. And then I've grabbed a package of the shaker windows and acetate and it's time for i've used up i think all my little pieces lying around that's how i knew it was time to um, make another shaker card so as always these pieces have the ring around the outside and then all the foam tape in the middle you can still use it so i'm just going to run my piercing tool around the outside to break all those little connections so that when you pull it off it doesn't super warp it If you do it to these pieces, it makes it a little easier later that they don't all come off together. Okay, so then I'm just going to pull up the ring. So what happens is because we've broken all those edges, it doesn't warp because sometimes if they're still attached and you start to pull on the circle, you can warp the circle out of shape. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It, it'll sit still perfectly fine if you put it back in the right spot. So then I just put my finger on the edge, put down that, so that I know that I'm going right on the edge there. And they're super sticky. Okay, so now I'm going to glue my shamrock four-leaf clover inside. I am just going to add some liquid glass. And 
And when I was punching out or cutting the um, ring and the background, I thought at the same time, I would just cut out some heart confetti. So I cut some out in both the green colors to supplement the gold. I'm gonna put some of the gold inside the gold sequins inside and then I'm going to add I think a little bit of the um, a few of the hearts just to uh, give it a different color there we go there's my lid So, super cute. Okay, there's my card. So now I think I'm going to add it onto the front and then we'll stuff it. So, I will just add my adhesive onto the back of this. Like so, I'm just going to make sure it's nice and stuck down there. Okay. So now I grabbed the gold sequin mix because um, it's very St. Patrick's-y and of course there's gold. So because I have the glitter paper in there, I'm not going to super stuff it or they're not going to move around. So this, this layers here. And then I just want a super few hearts and I just grabbing some of the willow hearts and because they're two tone too, they'll show up against the um, clover cardstock in the background. I'm going to flip these over. And so in the sequin mix, it's nice because they're not all super shiny. There's like, um, uh, like shiny, non-shiny. There's little white pieces. There's clear pieces. There's um, three different sizes of sequins. And then the stars, you can see here's a clear star. Oh, I see I had a few jumpers there too. Normally the anti-static pouch helps with that, but every once in a while it's good. I think that one. There we go. So there's a nice little mix that I have going on. And now I'm going to put my acetate sheet on top. So you saw me, I took that out of the package earlier. And just don't forget, it's got a film on it, so you want to take that off. I'm just going to close up my sequins because it's super static because it's so dry here right now. So I just run my finger along the edge to find the coating. You can also take your piercing tool to it or... Um, the rub and erase or a piece of uh, washi tape. I don't really find it ever to be a problem. See, and then today it's just going to prove me wrong. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's um, not helpful that my glasses are filthy dirty. <laughs> today. So now I'm just going to peel the backing off the foam circle because up till now it's not been sticky which is makes it awesome for being able to 
fill it. And then I'm just going to, again, put my finger on the edge and place the acetate in. So that's super cute. And everything still moves around in there. And like I said, so also on the thin cut is the ring to hide your acetate. So I'm just going to pick these up. Because I'll end up with those also all over the place. So I find it best to actually glue this down with the liquid glue because um, it gives you just enough time to reposition it if you need to, but once it's stuck, it's stuck for good. So just a super small amount, that's all you need. And then I'm just going to add this down. And I'm just going to set my ink pad on top of it for a second, like so. And so, like I said, the stamp set is B1654, which is part of the Lucky Friendship Workshop Your Way card making kit. And then we use the embossing folder, Playful Scallops, and that's Z4231. And then everything else, we use the thin cuts, and then everything else is just cardstock. So I'm going to cut these. that long and I actually think I'm going to color in the lucky so let's just see here I think I will use vivid green let's just see here hmm. yeah okay so now, because it's already attached, I'm just going to very lightly color. So this is just um, the Shinhan marker. And like I said, I grabbed vivid green. And just because they're quite... Um, like they can spread a lot so it just very lightly color with them you don't need to like push super hard which is awesome especially in a tiny space like this and i'm sure we all have a friend that we could send this card to so you could also change it so it says um, lucky, you color my world, you could add the shamrocks. I actually thought the four leaf clover would look cute stamped on tone on tone on one of the pieces of paper too, but I kind of wanted to keep it just simple. So there we go. And then I was thinking Okay, so I grabbed the sequins from the I Heart Us, and there's four different colors in here to play on the rainbow theme. These are beautiful in, in real life. So there's like a iridescent white, yellow, and then like a light mint green, and then there's the purple. And I thought for a splash of color, I would use the purple on here. So I'm just going to pick a few spots and add them onto my card. So I'm just looking for my piercing tool. So they're adhesive back, so you just um, can pull them off the sheet and they will stick. So 
as always, I will do an odd number. And I'll do the different sizes. So there's the medium and then the little teeny tiny small one. Oh, I think I mixed it over here. So, like I said, just simple, super cute card, though. I love the way it turned out. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. And um, you can find the products at my website at the chrisrobertson.closetomyheart.ca. And as always, there's tons of inspiration and ideas on my blog at chriscreativelife.blogspot.ca. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.